Look yeah. at the markets, though. We had the numbers out at 8.30 this morning, 33 minutes ago, and the markets are, uh, that, the, the stock market, all higher. Dow up 50, S&P up 12, Nasdaq up 62. Uh, David Barnson with me in New York this morning. The most important part of this report, I think, is inflation. What did this report tell you about inflation? It tells you absolutely nothing about inflation because this is something I want the right and the left to understand once and for all. This used to be only people on the left who didn't know this. Now the right seems to can be confused. Jobs don't cause inflation. People working doesn't create inflation. Too much money chasing too few goods causes inflation. When people are working, you're producing more goods and services. So this Phillips curve model, they used to call it in the 1970s, this Fed model that we are worried jobs are creating inflation, it isn't true. It's never been true. What they do or don't do with rates should have nothing to do with people working. Real fast. Interest rates are rising this morning after that jobless number, but the market is also on the upside. Yes, but They don't usually do that. No, that's true. Stocks and bonds have been very correlated. However, keep in mind, the bond yields dropped yesterday eight basis points. They're back up eight basis points today. So we're just back to where we were a few days ago. The 10 year has stayed below 4.4%. So it's kind of, it's higher than it was by about 30 basis points, but it's still staying in this middle ground level. If it gets back to five, then I think you have a problem. Stay there, David. I got more for you in just a moment. I got to get back to the markets. It's Friday morning. We've got a very, very modest rally going on here. David Barnes is with us. Uh, my question is look, are yields on treasuries too high to allow a solid stock market rally from here on out? Well, obviously not. Stocks have gone up for years and years with yields higher than this. It's just that the direction of interest rates matters. Where they end up settling is less important. Is our yields headed higher? That affects markets more than where they land. I think ultimately long-term yields are coming lower, but I don't say that as a good thing. I just think it's because we have too much government debt to get the growth we used to get. So bond yields are structurally lower. But right now, can b- b- markets uh, rally at four to four and a half percent? They did all last year. They were at 25 percent with a ten-year over four percent. So yes, they can. Got it, David. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it.